So let's say you wanna start your jewelry collection. You wanna be able to get a watch, a ring, a bracelet, and a chain, but you're on a particular budget of $1,000. Now $1,000 is a lot of money, but you're also trying to get multiple pieces that will last a lifetime. Not only last a lifetime, can stand the test of time, won't die out when the trends die out because things always recirculate. So are these pieces still gonna be hot, relevant, functional in five to seven, 15 years when we're cyborg robots? So I've compiled the list of recommendations that I feel that you can all get within that thousand dollar budget of a watch, chain, ring, and bracelet that'll have a timeless appearance Great quality, under a thousand dollars. Let's roll my motherfucking music so we can get into your entire jewelry fit for under one thousand dollars. I'm kind of a big deal. My beautiful peoples, you know who it is, this is your boy, c 3 to the b to the a Today's video is sponsored by me, MrCubano.com. Please go to the website below and cop all your Cubano merch. Thank you for supporting me, and that will help enhance this channel, my other channels, the entire brand, since you've already been supporting me for free. So MrCubano.com for all your Cubano needs. So I wanted to keep the list simple yet elegant, versatile yet sexy, and I wanted to keep it all the same tone. I didn't want to go the two-tone aspect, although with some of these pieces you absolutely can and it really won't fluctuate too much on the price point, but I wanted to keep it all very harmonious, very in sync to be classical pieces that you don't have to worry about gold tone fading, some redipping, none of that process. I want you to wear it, clean it, set it and forget it. Cause no matter what metals they are, you gotta clean them. A lot of people like to wear them 24 seven and they build up soap scum, sweat particles, skin, Trust me, you can get like skin pieces in these fucking things. Suntan lotion, body lotion, shampoos, gel. You can get all this shit in these pieces and they accumulate and they can tarnish and mess shit up. So, so I wanted to keep it all in that same tone. So the first piece I wanna start off with is a bracelet. A bracelet is something that's very visible. No matter what you're wearing a long sleeve, if it's properly sized, some people like the little bit of an overhang so it's always gonna be at the lower base. Personally, I like it mid or right behind that little bone right here. And no matter what you're wearing, if you're a type of person that speaks with your hands, it's always gonna pop out. So I feel that as I'm the Cuban link king of YouTube, I think a quality Miami Cuban link handmade piece is definitely a budget friendly option that will last you a lifetime and still look beautiful, can be worn by itself or with that entire fit. And my first selection would be a beautiful Miami Cuban link in sterling silver. I think it'll be a beautiful statement piece and where you can purchase it is at Gus Villa Jewelry. They make beautiful 950 Miami Cuban links as stated, handmade, similar to this one. So this type of piece in a silver tone would just look completely fly. As a daily wear, as a chill, as a dress up, dress down, can be confused with white gold, kinda, but will last you a lifetime. It still has that beautiful presence. I think 10 millimeter is a perfect size, and just having that piece around, even in conversation, or whether it be in a hoodie or dressed up with a button up and a long sleeve, you can still have that corporate chic type look, as well as that dress down swaggy. It's a big, bold piece, a bold statement. I always like the bracelets a little bit bigger than the chain. And I think this is a great option that they currently sell. I calculated this price on a standard wrist size, which is about eight inches for dudes. Pause. And that bracelet would be approximately $295. So we got $295 for your 950 handmade Miami Cuban link bracelet in 950 silver. Now with that, we're gonna follow up with a chain. Now with chains, you can go so many different ways and the budget can really fluctuate heavy. Unfortunately, on a handmade Miami Cuban link of good quality, it's gonna put us over that thousand dollar budget and I wanna pick quality pieces that will last a lifetime, that have a timeless appeal, that won't break apart or won't be shit within six months. So the chain option that I chose was a flat curve Cuban. And since I went with a 10 millimeter bracelet, I like to go with a smaller chain. Chain, I think an eight millimeter flat curb Cuban can also fit that dress up or dress down option in 24 inches, eight millimeter, similar to this. So it's not horribly far from the Miami Cuban link. 
Still has that same pattern. Obviously, you don't have the tight links. One is flat, one is rounder, but it still has a bit of cohesiveness if you're gonna go with that route. You don't have to go with the flat curve, but I just wanted to keep it within budget and something that kind of keeps some sort of synergy. So if we priced it at Luke Zion Jewelry, an eight millimeter 24 inch is approximately $154 currently. So to give you an idea, you would have your flat curve Cuban at eight millimeters, and then you would have your 10 millimeter Miami Cuban link. It still has that synergy, really nice look, same color, same flex, and these shits will last you a lifetime. If the lobster class breaks, super cheap to repair. Daily wear, it is not heavy on the neck. You will completely forget you even have it on. You can eventually throw a pendant on it if you choose to. I believe just by itself will be perfectly fine. And then you have your bracelet and your chain option and you still have a lot of money to spare. So we'll move on to a watch, a timepiece. Now this one was difficult because there's a lot of amazing watches, sub $1,000, well, sub $500. But one of the watches that caught my attention, which had, had a vintage yet ultra luxury style look, very solid reputation in the watch world, and can be purchased anywhere from $375 for a quartz movement, all the way up to like $550 for an automatic movement, is the Tissot PRX. Now for me, this looks like a vintage budget A P Royal Oak slash Rolex Oyster Quartz. Now the Tissot PRX and 40 millimeter, I feel is a perfect size and a beautiful statement piece on the wrist. Tissot had a great reputation for a long time and still does, but they're trying to make a resurgence with their beautiful quartz sunburst dials, this killer looking bracelet, and that kind of AP Oyster Quartz Rolex type look. Now the Tissot PRX in Macy's, they're selling it for $375. That's before any discounts in department stores like like Macy's, they always throw out some sort of coupons or holiday special, so there is a great opportunity to get that even cheaper if you want brand new. You can always shop around in websites like eBay, offer up Facebook marketplaces, any of those other places. If you want to go the pre-owned route, sometimes they have new ones, but if you want to go to a reputable department store like a Macy's online, you can get it for $375. Now, if we go up to the automatic version, it might kick us over the budget a little bit, but if you're going over the thousand dollar budget and you want to go fully automatic on that PRX, this joint comes with an 80 hour power reserve and it's a Swiss made movement. Plus if my memory serves me correctly, like on the automatic, automatic movement, it has this beautiful like cube style dial that gives it this ultra luxurious look at a fraction of the price, like for 525 bucks or something in that space, you get an automatic movement, a watch with a solid reputation that's trying to make a comeback in the affordable jewelry space. Or if you don't care about an automatic movement and you're good with a quartz movement, which is super solid, a beautiful ETA quartz movement, I think the Tissot PRX 40 millimeter is a beautiful, stunning option that will go with this chain and bracelet, and you're still under the thousand dollar budget. And finally, you need a ring option. Now you don't necessarily need a ring option, but again, I wanted to give you the whole fit for under a thousand dollars. So my selection was a traditional Signet style ring available on jackson.com. They have the 316 stainless steel options like the black onyx joint or the turquoise, depending if you wanna throw a little bit of color in the mix to not have all this muted combination. And if you're gonna have that PRX with that sunburst dial, it also adds that bit of color so you don't have to do it. But somebody like me likes to add a little bit of color and dimension to the fit but I think a Signet style ring would be a perfect option in 316 stainless steel, which won't throw off the color tones that you're already on with the watch, chain, bracelet, and now ring, and they have them in that $89 space. So let's do some quick calculations of the fit that I put together. We're gonna start off with the bracelet. $295, followed by the eight millimeter flat curb and 24 inch is about $154. Then we're gonna go the turquoise or onyx signet ring, which is about $89. And then we're gonna go to the Tissot PRX in 40 millimeter quartz movement at $375. So the current total for all these pieces is $913, sub $1,000. So we still are left with a little bit of money, right? So what do we throw in that mix? So you can go one of two ways. You can bump up the PRX to the automatic movement and never have to worry about a battery again, but it puts you a little bit over that $1,000 mark, not by much, but a little bit over, but then you have an automatic movement with an 80 hour power reserve, or you 
can take that additional 80 some odd dollars, go on to eBay and get yourself a casual everyday watch. Since the Tissot is a little bit of a dressier style watch, you can get yourself a sick Casio G-Shock on the eBay's sub $100, definitely in that $87 space. So now you have a dressier watch, you have your sporty watch, you have your chain, you have your bracelet, and you have your ring. All these pieces will last you your lifetime, can potentially even pass them down to the next generation if you choose to. If you went the automatic movement, eventually it's going to need servicing, and servicing sometimes can be a little bit pricey. Now if you go to the quartz option, it's just the change of the battery and you're golden. Now again, these options can absolutely be in the gold tone. You can get a rope as opposed to the flat curb. You can get yourself a Franco bracelet if you don't like the Miami Cuban. But these options are a nice fit that I feel for sub $1,000 would hit perfectly, have timeless looks. You don't have to go for styles that are not going to be relevant in the next two years. Super fashionable, can be worn daily, priced accordingly, and each can be worn individually, still providing some sort of swag to your entire fit. Let me know what you guys think about this sub $1,000 jewelry fit, and if you want me to do other price point budgets, maybe $500 or $2,000 plus, let me know in the comments below. I love y'all motherfuckers from the heart. Like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see y'all bitches next time. Let me know what is biggest in the game. Once again, go to MrCubano.com to get your Mr. Cubano merch. Smooches. Money folder, Mona roller, star tag. When it's time to call back oh. for the rough, rugged, and raw way. This nigga Jay, it's a game, but he don't play. Hey. For all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse suite on top of my mom's crib. Hey. It's long since you never get in. It's long since that you would think that you would. <laughs>